Hey, what's up everybody? Drew Peoples, Peoples Collectibles, and today Stellar Crown pre-release has just happened. It is September 5th, if I'm remembering correctly. I'm, I, I think it's September 5th. Uh, it's a Thursday in September 2024, so whatever that first Thursday is, uh, that's right now. And uh, yeah, I did this pre-release kind of by a fluke. I was almost going to miss it. I was like, you know what? Let's uh, let's give it a shot. Why not? And um, yeah, glad I did. Uh, sadly, didn't get uh, any prize out. The prize pack just being a participation one. Uh, there's only nine people, uh, you know, being on a, a random Thursday. Not a, too big of a turnout or anything, but still a good time. Um, I lost my first game. Very embarrassing. Uh, Driftloom deck. Which, uh, if you don't know Driftloom, from the Stellar Crown set, he's one Psychic, and he does 50 damage for each Driftloom and Drift... Driftloom? Whatever the other one. Driftloom? Driftloom? I don't know. You know, the Ghost Balloon thing. Uh, yeah, it does 50 damage for each one of those you have him play, and then does 30 damage to itself and each other. Uh, Driftloom, Driftloom. But, uh, yeah, it got totally uh, cream-pied. Very disappointing. And the first game, won the next two, but yeah, with only nine people, prize out was only to the top two, so sad face. Uh, and in the packs, uh, did get an A-spec, Sparkling Crystal. Uh, so Pokemon Tool, and the Terra Pokemon that it's attached to, uh, makes their attacks cost one energy less than energy of any type. So, cool card. Not I don't know if necessarily this is good. If, you know, people are specking on this or anything, um, you know, I didn't really look into spoilers or anything uh, heading into this. So, still cool. Uh, you know, would have preferred like a full art something, but that's that's all right. And got two EX guys. Now, I had even asked one of the guys there. I was like, hey, man, is it just me or are these guys hot, hot garbage? You know, I don't know every EX guy that's come out in recent years, only the guys that are in like the top tier decks. But, I mean, these cards just seem really really fucking terrible man uh, i don't know unless there's some like massive utility or something um in this set i mean a stage one pokemon that i mean 280 hp that's fine right but four energy two of them being you know of a specific basic energy type you know if it was all colorless it'd be one thing but to do a hundred times so like it could do 200 at most or it could do nothing um and then you got lucario with just you know 50 or 120 no extra effects to retreat caught like i don't know these, these just seem like hot garbage to me so that was disappointing a spec card still cool uh, i'm gonna go over the the deck that i got but you know this is uh this is what we're here for right let's uh prize pack series four <clears throat> let's see if uh i can get anything it's only my second ever uh pokemon prize pack so hoping for the best I've also learned with this video is to redeem the damn codes before I upload shit because I cracked a bunch of packs the other day and I went to go upload um, the codes to my account and uh, like 75% of them are already redeemed and I'm like, motherfucker, didn't even give me a like in the video, you son of a bitch. If you're watching this, fuck you, dude. All right, let's see what we got here. Iona, cool. A a Rezu. I was like, wait, is this a new one? Because I haven't seen this guy before, but it's it's old. Uh, search your deck for up to three evolution Pokemon that don't have a rule box. Reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. All right. Plethki. All right. Jock. All right. It's kind of cool. Wish it was like an Arvin or something. But still cool, cool. And Psychic Energy and a regular Energy. All right. Well, I mean, the Iona is quite cool. Jock's one, um, I haven't really seen him in, uh, in many decks, if I'm, if I'm being honest here. Uh, actually, I have a special illustration one of him. I can't remember if he was Paldea Evolved or Scarlet and Violet Base, but whichever the Scarlet Violet sets that he first came out in, that special illustration Jock I do have. Cool looking card, but yeah, he's, uh, he's not really a trainer that gets utilized that much, not like Iona or um, Arvin, which are ones that I see all the time. All right, so this is the deck that I got today. I got Crab Dude and a Lydian, which we'll pull Lydian out as well. If you know how the build and battles work. Basically, there's you know a few different ones that they mix and match, basically, and you get a 40-card deck. So with this, these were my, my two that got mixed and matched. So this guy right here, Crabominal, 160 health. Can do 250 for five. You can't use that attack the next turn. 
And his food prep ability, he, uh, his attack costs one less for each Kofu in your graveyard. And Kofu, put two cards from your hand on the bottom of your deck in any order. If you put two cards on the bottom of your deck in this way, draw four cards. Uh, so, yeah, there's four of these that came in the pre-con. Sadly, I didn't pull any more in the, uh, the packs that I cracked. But, you know, the idea is to play as many of these possible. And, you know, you only have a 40-card deck and you're starting with seven cards in your hand four prize cards so you know using one of these you ideally can go through pretty fast and that was part of the reason I lost that that first game is I had a Kofu and a Rika Rika Riku whatever the hell his name is and with Kofu's ability I put this on the bottom and then I ended up drawing no gas um and then just yeah my opponent annihilated me it's very disappointing um but yeah in the next two games I absolutely cream pied we got Veluza here same ability as this guy, um, but he's a basic, so easier to bring down. Attack does less, only 110, but if you have all four of the Kofus in the deck, which I did do that uh, at least one of the games, um, you know, it's base, it's a free attack, and it's not affected by any effects in your opponent's Pokemon. And same thing with Swift here, 70 uh, damage, not affected by any weakness, resistance, or any effects, so that was pretty cool, and he can uh, force your opponent to bring out a Pokemon with 90 or less health. So, yeah, uh, cool stuff. Um, I mean, there's really not much else to, to say about this deck except that. I really had to scrape the bottom of the barrel to, to put this deck together. Like, bug catching set, not didn't really work. There was one time I played this and absolutely whiffed, and then the second time I played it, I got one uh, grass energy out of it. You know, really, the grass energies are only really here because of bug catching set. And again, I really had to scrape the bottom of the barrel just to throw this together. This guy didn't even see play, and he's only there because, again, I mean, I needed something for this to hit, and I needed more Pokemon. Um, so thus is how it goes with the pre-release. Reversal Energy, that was uh, pretty nice, but, you know, it didn't do... I, it, it didn't do anything uh, necessarily because when I needed it to work, it didn't work. And when it worked, if it was just a regular energy anyway, it would have literally had the same effect regardless. Uh, Cycling Road. Now, this was a nice one because, again, I didn't have too, too many cards really to work with. So I, I went higher energies than I normally would. I think, like, 14, which, you know, for a 40-card deck, that's quite a bit, really. And I think in the building battles, they give you, like, 15, 16, something like that. Uh, but anyway, that was kind of there for, you know, all the extra energies I had. Maybe discard that card, you know, never even put it out. And that's also just kind of how it goes when you're only playing... Uh, you know, three rounds of, of one ofs. And actually, my second opponent finished the game so quickly that we ended up playing three more games. And still, I mean, I never... I, I drew Cycling Road a few times, but then also, you know, with Kofu, the way that he works, right? Putting two in the bottom. Anytime that I had it, it, you know, it was like, this isn't really going to help me, and it might help my opponent more than me. So just going to toss it away. And Crispin, another reason that, you know, got the grass energies in there, because you get, you get two basic energies of different types, and you get to attach one and put one in your hand. So, you know, if I only had water energies, it wouldn't help. And literally, I mean, this guy right here, that water symbol right there, and there's three copies of this, that's the only energy requirement. Everything else is colorless, right? Colorless, colorless. So, you know, with the reversal energy and everything, I felt like this deck was, um, you know, halfway solid, really. Um which it would have been nice uh, to have maybe done like one more round if there were more people. But, you know, it's excuses, excuses. It was still a fun time, a good way to spend a Thursday night before I head into the weekend. Uh, always try to do pre-releases for Pokemon and Magic now. It's just a good time to, you know, get together with other nerds that like the same stuff that you like, you know, and to get back to, you know, the community and everything, you know. It's, uh, it's a good time. And uh, I also got one of these at the, the game store. They were selling these for 35 bucks, And, uh, you know, no tax with cash. I was like, you know what? So, yeah, this is getting cracked next. And uh, there will be a video for that as well. Oh, and I also bought this off uh, the owner for $5. Um, I think Prime Catcher is used in the Charizard EX deck uh, now over this. But I was like, you know what? I don't feel like dropping 30 bucks. And, uh, you know what, for five bucks, I'll get an unfair stamp. It might work out. So, yeah, thanks for joining me. It's Drew Peoples, Peoples Collectibles. I will catch you all on the next round. Peace.